get to another video. It's your girl Jasmine. Got it. It's so nice to see you again. Yes, yes. So go ahead and subscribe. Yes, I. I see we are at 100 subscribers, y'all. I remember when I was at two subscribers and I was geeking. I was so happy, uh, y'all. So I had to pick y'all up on that one. Hold on. Let me get in there. Don't pay attention to that back there or that. Hi. Oh. My face is clearing up. Oh, nice to nice to you know build this this family this community up. I am so appreciative. That is so nice. That is so sweet. Um, please, like the giveaway is still on, y'all. Like I've been waiting for, <laughs> for this moment. I really thought then that of course i thought then it was gonna happen a lot uh, sooner but the giveaway is still on so yes yes um i i mean if y'all still want the clubhouse invite um if y'all are not um you know invited yet you can still have that that's totally fine with me i really don't get on there too much anymore um but i mean if you aren't a part of clubhouse yet that's fine. Um, that is fine. Um, also, uh, the cash giveaway, which of course, I think cash app is easiest for everybody, more convenient. And I was just going to do personalized gifts along with that as well. Um, but definitely, definitely, um, man, I'm so geeked. I'm so happy about that. So yes thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers well 102 now so yes i got my two subscribers and my 100 man that, that's a really good feeling first things first let me get this introduction well i already got the introduction but let me um you see a girl that lost a little weight honey hold on hold on boy i am so don't let me get no money, y'all, because I promise I'm going to get a, a breast reduction. <laughs> um, look. Boy. Who outside? Your girl? Jazzy Fizzle? The Shizzle? My Nizzle. Um, I'm, I'm really happy about that. But... I don't know if I want to talk to y'all about that or wait to another video. This was just going to be something really, really quick because I, I got a little bit of work to do. I just, I want to give y'all just an update real quick. So what I have done, and yeah, I'm just going to stick to that. So quick life update. What, I, what I've been doing, right, 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 after I have preached to y'all about oh just you know follow your heart and faith without works is dead you know after i say my my money was running low and i i wanted to live this entrepreneur entrepreneurial lifestyle so i wanted to live that life um i say that my money was running low but i was so adamant about not asking for help so i'm like i need to go back to work so i went back to work and um went back to work moved rapidly through the jobs like how i always do um because i never can just stay in one position as always um or else i'm always just you know, I got my hands in different things. So I found myself not being happy. Why do I have this? Like, <laughs> y'all, you can tell this has been a long time and I really shouldn't have left y'all. But 
Um, I'm back like I never left. But okay, so so yeah. I I just found myself not happy at first when I was told that I had the job. Not happy at first when I was told that I was doing really good at the job. Um, you know, like nothing came as a surprise to me. I'm just gonna kind of like put this here because I'm just moving over. So I was not happy. I was just I I wasn't surprised or shocked um about anything and it wasn't so much that i was taking a jo the job for granted i just i was not sincerely happy i wasn't you know i wasn't you know fulfilled so um i went to a school for the arts in high school um and i you know, from then on now, I never really gave up on like my singing. I talk to you guys from time to time. I've never not once had laryngitis and I wake up one day with laryngitis. So I've had like customer service jobs and stuff like that before. I woke up with laryngitis, but also I had an upper respiratory infection and then I have Bartholonians, Bartholon, something sis. Um, so it was just all these, all of these things that was just coming up at one time. And then I just got depressed. So basically what I am getting at is, is that yeah, you know, good things can happen to you and some things, you know, it, it can be like, oh, you know, if you're not really triggered, what's the problem? What's the issue? But sometimes when you deal with certain things consistent, you know, consistently through that throughout that job, I dealt with if it wasn't being fed into my ear. I have cancer and I, I don't know how to pay my bills and what am I going to do? How am I going to feed my family? So that was one thing. If it wasn't that, then it was the documentation. If it wasn't that, then it was the follow-up. So it was just like, you know, and then to progress in there and say, hey, you know, congratulations. You get to move up in this company. And I'm not trying to talk down on those types of jobs, but I'm just saying from a person that this is, is me, true story, true story. Me and my mom was walking downtown. I say I was probably about four or five years old. I don't even remember exactly verbatim, but me and her was walking, making our way downtown. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so random. <laughs> but we was waking up, making our way downtown. We was walking fast. And I remember I seen this long word on this building. And it started with an E and I pointed. I was like, Mom, what is that word? And she pointed. She pointed. She said that word. I'm like, yeah, what is that? What does that say? And I always used to point out words. Like I used to bring my books to her and be like, mom, what does this word say? And you know, can you help me sound it out? And can you tell me the definition of it? And she would make me, she would tell me what it was and she would make me repeat everything back out to her. So she said that word is entrepreneur. She told me what it meant. And I said the word back to her. And I didn't, say the meaning back to her I just told her I'm gonna be an entrepreneur and she said okay she said I know you are and that was it that was the conversation that was it that was it I don't even remember I don't even remember exactly what she said but I know she told me like the correct definition I know she didn't say like oh entrepreneurs just you know a bum that da, 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 da. no i know she she gave me the right definition my mom's very intelligent but 
I remember that day. And well, I remember that. I don't remember that day. But <laughs> but you know, it just sticks with me. And all these days, I, you know, all these times I, I will have these conversations with people and it used to piss me off. It used to get under my, it used to get under my skin when people always would ask me like, well, where are you working at now? Now? Like, who are you talking to? Even people that have this type of like thing about them where they're like, oh, I've been working at this job for 20 something years. And then they think that, sorry, I had a call, but I'm on my phone, of course, so I don't feel like breaking out all the gear and stuff. This room is a, it's a hot mess, so I, I just can't do all of that right now. I'm sorry, I missed the call. But um, even people, you know, that be at a job for X amount of years or something like that, they feel like they could, even though like I, I job hopped, every job that, I was like hopping around it and stuff. I played different positions at that job. I could be at a job for two weeks and moved around the whole circulated. And they would be able to call me and be like, hey Jasmine, can you work this place? Can you work, can you do that? Can you stay over and work over here? Can you do that? And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. And while I, I, I didn't do that with the intentions of, oh, I'm bored over here. I, I did that with the intentions of, I could work any position that I want to, but also for the hours. That's why I was doing that. So, and it wasn't my intention to get burnt out either. But <laughs> my thing was, damn, what's wrong with me? How come I can't just go somewhere and go make money and just be happy? Come home and just be happy and be fine with, you know, on the weekends, go get my drink, be happy with my Amazon packages coming in the mail and just call it, you know, a life. But no, I'm not, I'm not happy with that. That does not satisfy me. So when people would be like, well, what job is you working at now? And I'd be like, well, damn. You ain't got to say it like that. You can ask me a question in a different way if you're sincerely happy or sincerely, you know, concerned about where I'm working at. You can ask me in a different way or just don't ask at all. But, you know, it is what it is. I had to realize that there is nothing wrong with me. You know, it's it's just... I, <laughs> look, I, I can't say it no other way. Bitch, I don't work a job. I am a job. Okay, I can't say it no other way. Um, hey, hey, so I, I'm so happy that I realized that for myself. But now, 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 here comes, here comes the other test. And that was the test that I had seen to fail before. And I'm glad that God gave me another chance. And that is. And it, the story of that runs so much more deeper. Because, like, I had to take, like, a whole disability claim. And, like, I couldn't even walk. And, yeah, like, I had to, like, a whole emergency, like, procedure. I thought it was fibroids. Crazy, just crazy stuff. Lord, thank you so much for everything. Um, but, it, you know, the real test comes. And that's going to be faith. That's going to be faith. Um, no matter what you do, no matter what you do, it's not going to be easy. But I will tell you that life is just not easy, you know? So... Continue to just hold on with everything that you have, faith. <sighs> Whatever you is going through <laughs> is not for that reason, okay? Particularly, it's for the greater good and it's for you to come out better on the other side. And God is going to help you get through that and see through it. And it's all for him and your well-being, so just trust the process, trust yourself. And I, I just, 
I wish I could just take all of these emotions and all this love and just give it to you guys because I really wish that, you know, it's almost like wanting, it's almost like wanting the, the marriage or wanting the wedding without the marriage, you know, we don't never see the, the, the hardship when we say, you know, uh, you, you have to be faithful and you have to have faith and, and, you know, faithful without works is dead. Work is not hustling all the time. It's not always being busy. And it is a, a real life, um, mental battleship I, for lack of a better phrase because my mind just drew a blank but it's a real live battleship mental battleship um but you got to stay strong and you have to move with intentionality and you have to learn the difference between busy and being perfect purposeful and you know yeah and just having real live intentions and and just yeah yeah so guys the best thing that i could recommend is just make sure i know you know when you when you make plans because the day couldn't go completely left but as long as god sees that if you you know you are dedicated you have that discipline every single day and every day you are showing up for your life because the first time that I left my previous job, previous to the one that I'm just like, um, <laughs> I was waking up every day and I did not have purpose. Like I didn't have, you know, that drive. I just thought that, oh, I'm just get up and do one thing, you know, today and then, or do a couple of things off my list. I didn't have a, you know, so I'm getting more into, and this is another subject, but I'm going to just like study how the way monks live um, and try to learn how to be more disciplined and just try to go and set my days out and plan my days out and learn how to be more disciplined. But it is it's a mental battleship. And guys, just please, please just live your days with intentionality i love you guys please stay hydrated stay blessed guys thank you so much for 102 people like i i really appreciate that like i said i started this i was pregnant was i pregnant when i started <laughs> i don't know but yeah we're gonna get through this together whatever y'all whatever y'all going through we're gonna get through it together i'm looking forward to talking to you all about everything and just my different mindset and and just yeah just learning and growing with y'all so i'll see y'all in the next video bye <laughs>